Hi. Now, in this question, for the first part, we've got to sketch the curve y equals the square root of x. So, to do something like this, what we need to do first of all then is just set up our axes. So, we've got a y axis here and we've got an x axis here. And you'll notice that I haven't extended my x axis into the negative side that much purely because you can't square root a negative number. So it's only going to be defined for positive values of x. Now when x equals 0 the curve's going to pass through the origin. Okay, Square root of 0 is 0. But what we've got to be careful about with this one is that there's no plus or minus at the front here. So we're not going to have negative values coming off this. We're only concerned with say square root of 0 which is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3. So you've got a curve looking something like this. Coming up like that and then tailing off. Still going upwards but very slowly. So if it was plus or minus then the curve would come down like this as well, okay? So take care on that. I've seen questions in the past where it just says sketch the curve of y equals minus root x, so that would be just the lower half of this curve. All right, so there we go, that's that one. Now, in the next part, part two, what have we got to do there? Well, it says describe the transformation that transforms the curve y equals root x to the curve y equals the root of x minus 4. Well, you've got to really be familiar with your transformations of graphs then. So, if I was to say if f of x, for instance, was equal to root x, then what we're doing next is replacing this x with x minus 4. So I'm looking at the transformation f of x minus 4. That gives us root of x minus 4. Now what would this do for any graph, whether it be root x, any graph? It is that it translates the graph four units parallel to the x-axis. So this represents then a translation Okay, we've got to describe it fully, so translation's not really going to do. It's a translation of four units, okay, four units parallel to the x axis. Okay, that's in the positive sense. You could write four. 0, something like this if you wanted to, okay, um, let's just do that in there, 4, 0, that's an alternative, okay, as a vector. Right, for part 3, what have we got to do for this one? It says the curve y equals root x is stretched by a scale factor of 5 parallel to the x-axis. State the equation of the transformed curve. Okay, well, if we again say that f of x equals root x, then we should be familiar with this transformation that stretches by a scale factor of 5 parallel to the x-axis. It is f of 1 -fifth of x, okay? Not f of 5x, it's the kind of inverse, if you like, 1 -fifth Okay, one fifth of x. So that means we need to replace the x in here with one fifth of x. So you've got the root of one fifth x. Or you could have x over five, as long as that root covers everything. Okay, so we'll just put it back to y equals then. y equals the root of one fifth x. So there you go. Basically, you've got to know your transformations of graphs here. If you're unfamiliar with this, I've got plenty of tutorials on transformations of graphs on my website. 
Okay.